Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge, Catherine is genuinely helping each so much oh, in so uh, many ways. Uh, absolutely. It's and um, uh, as I say, it's something with, with both uh, her, with, with William and Harry, um, they are very, very uh, supportive right. of, of charities and a wide range of charities. Right. Uh, and that you know, helps, I think, undoubtedly to encourage people generally to support organisations like ours. That's wonderful. So, have you forged a friendship with her? Uh, well, I don't think it's a friendship. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's be quite clear. Huh? Do you we're, call uh, her and ask her when she could come in? No, not quite, no. And, and I was asked by one of your American stations, you know, will she have any more children? I don't know. You, know, I, 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 you it's, don't? I no, mean, it's... She is a royal patron, of, <laughs> and you are the CEO yes. uh, of the there, same organization. There, we, we do things with a certain reserve over right, here in the course. United Kingdom. Um, <laughs> But unlike us in the US. Unlike us, abs saying? absolutely. Um, uh, you learnt some things from us, but, but not yes. everything. Um, so what, uh, what we uh, do, I mean, we have, I have met her on a number of occasions. I mean, one of the, the interesting things is that um, she, together with William and Harry, yes. uh, have uh, a select number of um, charities yes. for which they are very active patrons. Right. I mean, they, obviously they're on the note paper of a, of a number, but very right. active. Uh, and there are about 35 of us, uh, and every six months we come together right. as a group of charities, and they come as well, and they spend two, three hours with us, because they're very interested to know what each of the charities are doing, but also that the charities will work together and help each other. Wonderful. Because we all have different skills. Right. So if I can give you an example, um, one of Harry's charities is the Mountain Rescue Team. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Wales. Now right. they're very good at rescuing people from mountains but they have no idea about how to fundraise. Mm -hmm. And so a charity which has fundraising experience has worked with them to give them some ideas as to how they can fundraise for their, their activities. So they're very keen that we work together. And the range of charities is not just in the United Kingdom. Uh, there's a very small charity that deals with children in Lesotho in Africa. Uh, which Harry is uh, the um, patron of, following on from uh, Princess Diana, who was uh, the right. patron there previously. So we meet on those occasions. Um, we had a lovely day a couple of months ago when we took 30 of our children to Harry Potter World here in nice. uh, England, when she, Harry and William also right. were there. Right, we all watched them. Well, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so we were able to take 30 children there, and thanks to the... Uh, support that we had from local people here who very kindly paid for all the travel expenses for the family to go there as well. So that was, that was really a great day. Um, we had a, a concourse of elegance, uh, cars right. at Windsor Castle last year, and I think there were some 18 cars that were shipped over from the US, and we had a magnificent dinner uh, in St George's Hall in, in Windsor Castle, wow. uh, which again brought um, help and support to... Uh, each and two other charities as well. Right. So it's all those sorts of things. Yes. How did you get chosen among all the charities that she supports? I think uh, I just keep getting these phone calls from St James's Palace or So they or must emails. really enjoy talking to you and your witty personality, it, right? It, it, it is interesting. I mean, only last week I, I got a, a phone call to say that the government of Slovenia uh, is going to, wants to give a, a, a children's uh, bedroom outfit, outfit, furniture, etc., right. as um, to mark the birth of the, uh, the new prince or princess, as the case may be, uh, and would we like that uh, to, to come to us? So I've now got to make contact with the Slovenian ambassador in London to arrange how that takes place. So whenever the phone rings and it's in James's palace, I never know quite what it's going to be. <laughs> Uh, it's been three rocking horses, and there's a beautiful one of those yes, out here. Yes, I saw. It's uh, beautiful. Which came, again, people wanting to make donations, uh, wanting to give support to Her Royal Highness, and clearly if it's, it's things that might be uh, close to children, um, she very kindly um, heads them in our direction. That's wonderful. I actually have one more question, and that is, when she came for four hours and you toured her around, was she just as genuine as she seems on television? I, I'll tell you what. She came in, and of course, 
you know, one's there thinking, uh, no, what's this going to be like, you know? Yes, exactly. Um, she was due at 11.30, and uh, we got a phone call to say she was running a bit quick, a bit early. Yeah. Uh, so this was to the policeman who was with us. Uh, so we said, that's okay, fine, uh, we'll just bring everything forward. And there must have been a conversation which said, no, 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 we'll stick to 12 o'clock. We'll get a cup of coffee on the way. And I thought, coming up the M11, that's one of our motorways from London to our hospice, um, I only know of one coffee place there, and that's in a store called Tesco, right. which is a supermarket, your equivalent of Walmart. Right. Um, and it has a Costa coffee, which, again, is... Yes. Do you have Costa or... You start. It's, yes, it's better I know than, what it is. It's better than Starbucks. Um, <laughs> and they pay their taxes. Um, and uh, so I thought probably stop there. So when she arrived and came in, and the first thing she said was, may I use your facilities? Which is an English word for, can I use the toilet? Yes. Uh, yes, we did that. And as she came in, I said, would you like a tea or a coffee? And she said, um, no, water would be fine. Because uh, oh, I said, oh, yes, you I understand you've just stopped for coffee in Costa, and she said yes. I said, it's a pity you didn't tell me, because I've got a Costa coffee loyalty card, which would have, <laughs> would have allowed you to have had a few pence off the cost. Now, I don't know where that came from, but I immediately felt comfortable. Really? Uh, and she is, just, she is just so charming and so natural. So um, and obviously, one knows the boundaries. Oh, um, right, but yes, no, it, 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 she's, she is... There is no show. Yes. It is quite natural. She doesn't have to act the part at all. Right. So you feel she genuinely chose your organization to support? Oh, yes. You, you only have to see the way in which she uh, is with, with the children when she came here, mm -hmm. the time she spent with, with the little boy who unfortunately died uh, a little while after she went, the, the, the way in which she, she showed empathy with the family, etc. This was in a private meeting. But uh, I know from that family that they so much appreciate it. And they've got a beautiful picture of their, their, their late son uh, with, with the princess there beside him. How wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Graham, for your time today. We appreciate it. And we look forward to all the future with each and as you grow and as we get to see her a part of your organization. So thank you. And you can follow us on our website. Wonderful. And your website is exactly... www.each.org.uk Wonderful. Thank you.